song Genius for them and it doesn't stop till I feel it That's why I call them policemen, they come around and I run It's for Eric, you love when I share it Let's talk about Frankie, you love when he spank me You know what I'm on Cheers for Gerald, I'm at Hi you guys, welcome back to another uh, vlog. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, you know how to spell Coco. Tuesday, May 30th, it is 10.36 in the morning and I am about to head out of the house. Me and Chanel, I'm gonna take her to the off-leash dog park for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go see The Little Mermaid later on today, so I'm excited about that. I have not seen the original um, cartoon version, but I'm excited to go see the live action movie today. Um, right now, I'm just about to make myself some iced coffee. Bay is out of town for a couple of days, so... I'm just hanging out. Um, yeah, but I'm just about to make myself some iced coffee. Um, as you can see, I have some coffee. I'm gonna put some um, milk, some sugar, some ice in here, and then I'm gonna pour it in. So, uh, and I'm gonna have a banana as well. Today is like 66 degrees, so it's nice outside, but it's not like super hot. I think, what was it, Sunday, it was like 80 something degrees. Um, I went on a boat or a yacht, it was a mini yacht. I'm with a couple of friends, had some fun. I just didn't record uh, on that day. It was the day before, uh, what do you call it, Memorial Day. So happy you guys are enjoying the last vlog um, in the new place. Like, thank you guys so much. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched that vlog, make sure you go watch it. I got the greatest idea. Well, I didn't get the idea. One of you guys actually gave me the idea, but a couple of people had kind of mentioned this on um, on my Instagram when I go live that I should create my own website where I can share my tips and my story and all of that stuff without like women being able to like you know go and report me and get my page taken down like how they did for like my patreon everything um so i am going to build my own website um i'm actually really good at building websites um it just takes a couple of days i'm excited about that i think i'm gonna do that but i also need to figure out how i can make it into a subscription so that you bitches can pay me <laughs> Because I'm just like, mm, I'm not going to make a website and have the information there for free. Like, I'm going to be giving out details, like real details, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be working on that tomorrow. Today, I can have a lot of things that I'm doing, um, but I'm definitely going to be working on that tomorrow. Oh, in the last vlog, I didn't show you guys because I ended the vlog the day before I got my earrings. But your girl got some new Van Cleef earrings, so thanks to Bay. Um, my mother of pearl ones are going to be replaced um, because when I was at dinner, I think like a month ago, um, it fell out of my ear. And then let me show you guys like this iron part. This like iron part right here the little one fell off but like everything is still attached to it so i haven't been wearing it because it just isn't secure without the uh part that goes into your you know your ear so they decided that he wanted to replace them for me so i got new ones and we did inquire and they do fix jewelry there or they'll ship it out and get it fixed so i'm super excited about getting it Fixed, then I'm gonna have the mother of pearl in these black ones, which are like every day. You guys know if you've been watching me from the moment I got those earrings, um, they're like my everyday earrings just because they're really secured. I don't know, and they're really cute and very like dainty everyday wear, especially if you get like the black or the um, mother of pearl ones, which are like white. Um, so yeah, so I got some new earrings, I just didn't show you guys. Thanks, babe. Um, so I am dressed. I'm wearing this aloe top, the jeans, 
Uh, I believe I got them from White Fox Boutique. They have like a little cute thing. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> it's a little sexy. I'm just running errands, so it's not a big deal, but it's long. Actually, you know what? Let me bring you down. See if you can see my fit. Yeah, so these jeans, I got them from White Fox Boutique. I ordered them online months ago, and I'm just now putting them on. They're super cute. They have like this little thing. Like this is something I would wear obviously like during the day casually. If I'm going to a day party, like I wouldn't wear this to go freestyling for any of the girlies who are still trying to find them a sugar daddy or a wealthy provider man, <laughs> okay? Um, these I got from Saks. I call them my Jesus sandals. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're super cute. I can't remember the brand name. They were a steal when I got them. They were like originally like 800 bucks and I paid like $200 for them. Super cute. And that's what they look like. <laughs> and I'm just taking my everyday mini classic Chanel bag. Um, yeah, so that is what we are doing. I'm going to make myself my iced coffee. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and head out. Me and Chanel are going to be hanging around. I got my ice. I need to um, get ice cubes for the um, freezer to make ice, like cute ice stuff, um, like cute ice cubes, but they have to come and um, fix the ice machine because it doesn't make any ice. So I had to get ice from the store, but they are coming to uh, fix it. Not tomorrow, but... Um, Thursday, I believe, so I have to be here on Thursday. Ooh, the cleaners are coming on Thursday, and the people fixing the freezer are coming on Thursday, too. I hope they're not here at the same time. That would be bad. one of those um, travel coffee mugs because I want to take this with me but I don't have a mug those cute glass ones um, but they come with like the wooden covers I need those with like the piece of the straw I need those to all the uh, TikTok girlies using it and I need it. So I think I'm gonna order that. I actually have to order a bunch of stuff from Amazon. I'm probably gonna do that today. Um, but <laughs> look at this. For the sake of getting content right, I had to make two cups because when I filmed this one, it spilled. And obviously, who wants to see that, right? It's not cute. So I have to film it again. <laughs> and now I have two iced coffees. But I'm gonna put this one in the fridge. And I might drink it later when I get back in the house, but I think I'm just gonna take this with me like this. It's actually really good. Um, yeah, so let's go. Hey, you guys, so uh, it's the next day. I literally did nothing yesterday aside from like going to run like the little errands that I had to run. I don't know why I thought I was recording. My freaking camera died. Okay. Um, anyways, I'm at the spa. I remember last time I was telling you guys that I got a chemical peel and it just didn't work great. 
Um, I didn't really peel. Like, I peeled underneath my eyes. Like, I have no makeup on my face right now. So, I peeled, like, underneath my eyes. But, like, you can still see, like, discoloration, like, on my cheeks. Like, right here. So, I came back to get a little bit more of an advanced chemical peel than the one I had before. And so, hopefully that works. I have this little pimple here. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm trying. Like, I would really like to get, like, this, like, um what do you call it like marks on my face like that's what I would really like to um, get rid of like the hyperpigmentation that's all over my cheeks and usually occurs after I've had a pimple like this one and then when it heals it turns into a you know mark on my face back <laughs> from my chemical peel um, it wasn't too bad I got an advanced chemical peel and for some reason the first time I got the chemical peel um, it wasn't advanced but I feel like the chemicals that they put on your face hurt a lot more the first time than it did this time even though this was supposed to be like a more advanced chemical peel um, I try to record as much as I can record but I'm not very comfortable with the women that work there yet um so when she is doing the actual chemical peel like placing the chemicals on my face i don't record um i record the little uh, mask they do at the end because at that point she's like out of the room and she just puts the mask in. let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes so within that 10 to 15 minutes i like record my face um but yeah, so hopefully it works this time. I told them like my main focus is like this area of my face um, because this is where I break out the most, like here. Not up here or like here, it's like all down here. So hopefully it works. Um, and then the next time I'm gonna get the even more advanced chemical peel. Um, yeah, so everything went well. I am about to drop off my laundry um over here on newberry street <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna inquire about getting a bigger washer and dryer in that unit just to see what they say i don't know if they will like you know do that but if i i think i showed you guys it's so freaking small it literally makes zero sense unless you're washing laundry every single day which is to me it just i don't like i'm not gonna wash every item i wear every day so that i don't have like a bunch of laundry like i like to do like okay one week of laundry in one day so i separate the colors and the whites and i probably do two three loads if i'm washing towels sheets that kind of stuff but like doing laundry every day like four items a day i can't like mm -mm. i don't know that's just not my cup of tea so we're gonna see if we can get like a bigger washer and dryer um but as for today i'm just going to go ahead and uh drop my laundry off i was supposed to meet my friend for lunch um over by my house but i went late for my freaking appointment for my chemical peel and so of course I missed her so hopefully I can have lunch with her next time so nice out here it's a beautiful day today oh the laundry place is literally right here perfect Ooh. don't mind the little bumpy okay the roads in Boston are bumpy they're not smooth they're not smooth at all, okay? They're very, because of the snow, so our roads get bad very fast. I need to take all of this stuff out of the trunk. It's a big bag of laundry. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys, but it is huge. I will be right back.
Okay, that was easy. Girl, I just want me to rock. Girl, I just want me to vibe. Girl, I just, girl, I just, girl, I just want me to chill like I swear to me. After tonight, I go live to the city later. Pass on a vendetta. Hey, you guys. So, I've been home for a little bit. I ate. <laughs> oh, I had some Gary and Okra. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel for three years now, you know, you know. If I have some Cameroonian cuisine, I'm going to eat it over everything else. So, um, I had seen my sister uh, whenever I got my hair done. I think it was Thursday last week. Um, and she had cooked some okra. So, she gave me some okra. I have Gary in the house. I usually go and get Gary from like the African stores that they have here um, and my sister gave me some okra so I just ate the last of it it tasted so good oh my god um so yeah so I'm back in the house did that I was actually watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and yeah while I was eating so now I'm just going to put away these like tiny dishes I have in my sink like the coffee cup that I was using yesterday, stuff like that. I'm gonna put in the dishwasher. Um, the house is pretty clean, so I don't really need to do anything. I dropped off my laundry. I'm not too sure when those are gonna be available, but probably in like two days I can pick them up, so that's good. <laughs> I wore this dress to the boat party on Sunday. Um, super cute. I'm not sure if it's a cover up or a dress. I wore it as a cover up, but it's super cute. This was actually no babe. you guys so it is much later on it is about seven o'clock the sun is setting i am dressed i was watching um summer something the, whatever show that's on peacock that is based in like martha's vineyard which is probably like well i would say maybe two hours away from uh, massachusetts but yeah, I was watching the show. It's like a all black cast. Um, it was kind of interesting. I just kind of got bored. I didn't have anything else to watch. So I decided to start watching that show, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. You guys know this dress if you watch my, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Got a new TV and it's hung up. So yes, amazing. Um, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's really cute. So I am wearing this beige dress that I got from Saks. I don't know the name of the actual brand, so don't judge me. I got my Tom Ford padlock heels in gold on. I have my new everyday Van Cleef earrings. Don't mind my, um, Frontal is starting to lift, but it's still giving scalp. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is my outfit for a quick little dinner rendezvous tonight by myself. Um, yeah, so 
If you watch my Get Ready to Go to London and Paris vlog, then you saw where I got this dress or when I got this dress. I was trying it on for the trip. I actually never ended up wearing it on the actual trip. But I did wear it after that and I can't remember. But it's super cute. It has like this little slit here. It's beige. It's very busty. <laughs> Again, my Kelly 25 ostrich. You know what's so funny? I'm not even wearing these uh, Tom Ford heels, okay? I did it for my TikTok video. <laughs> because these hurt so bad. I mean, so bad. Actually, the gold heels that I want to wear are in my car. Which means I have to drive. And I really didn't feel like driving. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> I guess I should go ahead and call my car. Um, but I was telling you guys that I was filming some TikTok content, and that is why I uh, took these out for the video. But I'm not wearing them because my feet hurt. As you can see, I've worn them a few times, but when I say these, I don't know whose idea it was. Every time I wear these shoes, I feel like I say that, but I don't know whose idea it was that encouraged me to buy these heels, but they hurt. Okay, I look cute though. Yes. And this is why every time I go out and I'm like, it's so beautiful outside, it's 77 degrees outside, I wanna enjoy the sun. This is what happens. I decide to film and then I sit down. I just kinda like, mess around and then I'm not outside till it's dark and catch no sun. Good morning. It's the next day. Today is Thursday and I'm waiting for the cleaners to come. She's supposed to be coming here at 12 o'clock every Thursday but she's late every Thursday. <laughs> I guess maybe she's you know cleaning someone else's house and I have nothing to do but it would just be annoying like if I had like an appointment um to get to and then she's late you know what I'm saying then I'll be late to my appointment and stuff like that but they're cool um don't have anything to do today I have not started peeling yet from my chemical peel but skin is looking great so hopefully we can peel so the skin can look even better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to get dressed because while they're here, I usually stay, but I think today I'm going to uh, do like a little test thing and leave. Okay, I'm gonna take Chanel to the park, walk around. I need to go and see the nail salon that's right by my house. Like check it out. I'm not gonna go get my nails done today even though I, I need to but I'm gonna check it out and if I like it in there I'll make an appointment or so um, for some time this weekend to go and get my nails done um, but yeah me and Chanel are just gonna honestly take a stroll around the neighborhood and here is Chanel I don't know I don't know what I want to wear I'm thinking like if I want to do something sporty like because I'm gonna be walking or should I do like you know casual cute <laughs> um because it's really nice outside you know like maybe shorts and a nice shirt maybe you know an athleisure outfit I don't know first let me put this stuff away that I was gonna wear yesterday but this is definitely not given Austin. I'm gonna wear these linen trousers. Oh no, there's like a little thingy in the back. I wonder if it's from. Uh, oh no. I need a new pair of these. I wonder if like people are gonna be able to notice. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wear these. Super cute. I can wear it with my Hermes sandals the brown ones and then i need to figure out what top 
I might do what I did in Miami. I need to wear this Jack Moose top, but I need to get it fixed because I <laughs> try to wear this in Morocco when my boobies were like humongous and I broke the, uh... so I need to get it fixed. The uh, linen pants are from Woodfred. And I'm pretty sure I got them in Aritzia. Like, I'm like 90% sure I got them from Aritzia. Um, and I can do like a nice cute top. I could do this. What? This has a stain in the back. Too. Jesus Christ. I got this from Zara. It's very inexpensive. Throwing it out. Oh, sorry, Chanel. Um, okay. The boobies don't really fit in this. But that's why you have this. And I'm gonna button it. I think I like this better. This is definitely giving. Cute. Comfy. And chic. I think I like this better. It's giving comfortable, yet dressed, yet, you know, like chic. I don't know, I think it's cute. I am wearing my Miss Dior perfume. I've had this for a few years now. It still smells really good. It's just one of my like perfumes that I love to wear during the day. It just smells like flowers and sexiness. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. Last but not least, taking my Dior bag. And this is the final outfit. Waiting for the cleaners. I'm about to fire her. <laughs> okay, cause why are you late, ma'am? But like, she's like an hour late now at this point. I have to caution her <laughs> about not coming late cause I have things to do. Like, she's finally here. <laughs> I'm waiting for her, um, her to come. See what they're doing. <laughs> Chanel, come here. Jeez. Sorry. So I'm waiting for the lady that speaks English, the boss, because um, I think
think she's still downstairs. Maybe they're getting more stuff. Um, her daughter doesn't speak English. So that's what's up here. Her daughter and somebody else. I don't know. But the lady that speaks English. I'm waiting for her. And then we can go. <sighs> so much going on. <laughs> but I have nothing to do anyway. So it's fine. Right, Chanel. We're just going to go for a walk. All right, I'm back home from taking Chanel to the uh, dog park. It is Chanel. It is so hot outside that honestly, I could only take her to the freaking dog park, have her run around, and then I came home because she was, <sighs> okay, it's super hot. Um, so I'm not gonna take her on my walk. The cleaners are done. It is so nice in here. Like the whole house is beautiful. House looks clean. They did such a good job. They did the floors, the kitchen. They even ran the dishwasher. So yeah. So now I'm gonna actually go on my walk that I said I was gonna do uh, to that nail salon just to kind of check it out and see what it looks like in there. I actually changed into a skirt because the linen pants were nice and cute, but it was like hot out. So I definitely wanted to like let my, you know, breathe, let my legs out a little bit. It's like 80 something degrees, it's way too hot. I wore this skirt that I got from Zara, super cute. And same uh, brown around sandals, keeping the same vest and keeping the same bag, so. I took out some dinner for um, later on. I took out a thing of salmon. So yeah, we can have salmon. Bay is coming back from his business trip today. So he's coming over. He's at work right now. Um, but yeah, so when he comes, we're gonna have some salmon. We're gonna have um, some rice possibly, some asparagus and just, you know, relax. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful Would you date so, me uh -huh. I was trying to film earlier but my, but my um, camera, the battery died I didn't bring a new one with me um, But I took Chanel to the vet She needed to get checked up So I had Chanel for four years now I had her since she was like honestly a month old um and i never got her spaded i believe is the word so i finally decided that you know i wanted to do it i wasn't sure if i wanted her to have babies you know um but after a while i just decided you know what it doesn't even make sense like i can only deal with one one dog okay she's so clingy here she comes she's so clingy she's like she needs attention all the time so i i think i only need one of chanel's um i was thinking of being like a boy dog but mm -mm. after i just uh, saw my vet bill and how much it would cost to get her spaded yeah no i think i'm all set with just one uh one dog um but yeah so that's what we were doing earlier um i also was earlier I just created an Amazon storefront for myself. So if you've ever seen something in my video, like maybe a home decor, um, something that's in my, my bathroom, um, even some makeup stuff, and you wanted to, you know, grab the same thing, you can now just click the link in my bio and shop my Amazon storefront. Um, it's been a while. I didn't think I was ever going to do this, but I decided to do it. I just have to make sure that I updated with like the new stuff that I purchase all the time. So like makeup products, um, home decor, like a lot of my vases I got from Amazon. Uh, the, uh, the, um, ornament I have in my closet room I got from Amazon. You can check all of that stuff in my Amazon storefront. The link is down in the description. Um, so yeah, now you don't have to be like, where'd you get this from? You can 
you can see it down on my Amazon storefront. So make sure you're shopping. Yeah, but that's it. Today is Friday. It is 86 degrees outside. I wore this cute aloe skirt. I'm going to show you guys. Um, that last vlog, not the last one I posted, but the one that I told you that I scrapped. Um, I actually went to aloe and I shopped and I, I, I did a whole unboxing. I just didn't um, show you guys, but I got a bunch of stuff because they just opened an aloe at the Prudential Mall here in Boston. So I went in there and uh, I actually thought aloe was more expensive than what it was. I got like eight things and I'm pretty sure I only spent like $400. Like that's actually not bad. I thought like I was gonna rack up like a thousand dollars minimum <laughs> um so no it actually wasn't too bad so i'm thinking i might go back there again this weekend the only thing that i didn't like is a lot of the bras that they make are not adjustable bras so you know like i need something that i can adjust because i have natural like titties and i'm a skinny woman so i need i need my titties to be secured and i have a very small um you know like right here is very tiny i just have a huge boobs so like anything that would actually fit my size was too wide um so they need to make like more adjustable um like sports bras or just like you know sets because they were really cute like matching sets that i saw but the top wouldn't fit because they like the cup sizes on them were very tiny um, so they need to like work on that. But aside from that, I actually love love their products and I definitely will be going back to shop for more. Um, so I'm just going to work on my website. I told you guys I was building a new website just for me to share all of my content that I was sharing um, before <laughs> on my Patreon. This time it's going to be my website so people can't mess with it. Um, yeah, so that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to start working on that, um, and uh, I will let you guys know once I am done. Hey you guys, so me and Bay are about to head to dinner. I am literally wearing the same dress I showed you guys in Turks and Caicos, it's super cute. Yes, you guys remember the dress from Turks and Caicos, the silver heels, I have my Bulgari watch, obviously my Cartier, my ring. I'm taking my Birkin, raining, so I have the raincoat because we are just literally going from the car, um, from the house into the Uber. So, but 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 you get the vision, okay? This is this is what it looks like. <laughs> Um, but just to protect the bag, I have a raincoat because it might start downpouring. So just to. Just to be today last night or yesterday we didn't really do too much we just kind of hung around um and then today i just needed to get into the tub and just relax chanel was not letting me have my peace she was barking because she can see what's going on outside even though i know for a fact she knows that they cannot hear her from all the way up here but for some odd reason she like likes to bark at people or dogs that she sees um walking around um but yeah it was a nice relaxing day today's sunday i did not go to my mom's i usually go to my mom's on sundays i wasn't feeling too good um but me and they are about to walk over to uh this mexican restaurant probably have some tacos nachos um 
margaritas and just kind of you know relax hang out but i needed to get my nails done today but i ended up not doing that um I literally spent three and a half hours in the tub so <laughs> didn't go to the actual uh you know nail salon to get my nails done so we're gonna try to do that tomorrow good morning you guys so i have been up for a couple of hours it's like 10 o'clock i got up around like eight o'clock so yesterday um i think when i was talking to you guys i told you guys me and Bay were gonna walk over you know to this restaurant down the street we did it was this like asian uh thai place really really good um i got these like noodles and it was kind of like if you've ever um had um peanut soup like granite soup um, for all my Cameroonians and you know Nigerians, West Africans, um, you know what granola soup is. <laughs> so um, the noodles actually kind of like tasted like granola soup. Like it was actually really good. Um, and also on the spices side, like super good. After that, we honestly just came back, and I needed a nap. I got my period, so your girl was not feeling good. Then when I came back in the house, girl, I pulled this wig off. Okay. I pulled the wig off because it had started like lifting and I was in the hot tub earlier. You guys saw that and it just like at that point it was just easily coming off. So I just I took it off. Um, so then I woke up this morning and I decided to wash the wig and try to apply it myself. Seeing that my cousin had already did like the customization and stuff of the wig. I really just had to wash it. Um, and then try to install it. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. Hopefully I did a good job You know, I did the bald cap method like I could have easily just threw the wig back on spray and be fine But I was like no, let me wash the hair and actually get it You know like where I can keep it on for probably like another week or a week and a half um, And then I don't know what I'm gonna do to my hair next But I definitely feel like with the summer coming I'm gonna go into braids um just to avoid having to like you know the wigs over and over again um and i want to let my hair my leave out the front of my hair um, i want to let it rest because like most of my hair is growing but like this part of my hair when i do my leave out obviously because i straighten it all the time is kind of like you know getting damaged so i need to do more protective styles so we are going to do braids this summer for trips and stuff like that and it's just much easier especially when it's like 100 degrees outside so yeah so let's see how i did i will show you guys in a little bit um i gotta go get my nails done as you can see <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today get my nails done um i had been cleaning up my closet say hi chanel I've been cleaning out my closets a little better, but now that I washed the hair and everything, the uh, bathroom is dirty. Um, I'm gonna kind of clean it up a little bit, but housekeepers are coming on Thursday, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> They'll do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a light cleaning of it, but not like a deep clean. Um, okay. <laughs> I think I did okay like not terrible you know i kind of ate it up a little bit okay i kind of ate it up the little white is because i you know obviously i just did the hair i just took my band off but i kind of i kind of did a good job <sighs> what let me know in the comments let me know obviously i haven't styled it this is how the hair is after you wash it in its natural state i have not styled it haven't put any curls but i did that okay i did a good job i'm proud of myself you guys let me know in the comments like because one thing about me I'm gonna learn how to do something okay i don't think i'm gonna be doing this with like a brand new wig and stuff like that but definitely can uh do it with like you know an already customized wig like okay and i did the whole swoop thing that she did and used my hot comb i did it i did it <laughs> yes feels like a new 
you know, a new wig on your head because it was starting to lift, okay? Um, and I think I only had it for a week and a half, maybe two weeks, but threw it right back on. Did take a couple of hours, had to get up early, you know, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. What? 54 degrees outside, so it's cold. <laughs> this is kind of cute. I put on some leggings and a top. I got from Lululemon. So look at them, they're super comfortable. I think they call them the seamless um, leggings from Lululemon. Kind of makes my butt look nice, like, you know, your girl might be getting a little something back there. This is cute, right? The Hermes perfume that I got in, uh, pretty sure I got this. In Paris? Yeah, I think so. It smells really good, it's really refreshing. This is like something I wear like in the afternoon, just to like run errands. It just gives you like this like fresh, you know, feel. It's not like too strong. Um, yeah, but this is uh, really cute. Chanel and her toys everywhere. Like girl, get it together. I'm trying to find my Ocean, but I don't know where it is. This is my lace of ashy. I don't know about you guys. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but like, I don't put lotion. And I know someone's gonna be like, you're supposed to make sure you moisturize, it's good for your skin. But like, I don't put lotion on my entire body unless like it's showing. Like the only thing I have lotion are the parts that are gonna be out. So like in the summertime, obviously I lotion and you know, cause I wear more skirts and you know, shorts. But like, if I don't have to, I'm not gonna do it. Just because I hate the sticky feel. I think that's what it is for me. Like I hate the sticky feel of, you know, like putting clothes after you put on lotion. So I usually, well like in my leggings, like I didn't lotion any of this part right here. Just my hands and my toes. Um, I don't know, is anybody else the same? Or am I just a weirdo? But yeah, so we are about to walk and get our nails done. Literally, since I'm out here, I don't need to like go anywhere. The only time I'm like um, driving is when I'm going like to my mom's or if I'm going to the other side of the city to get like, you know, some shopping and stuff like that or to have dinner. But like everything is here, like the nail salon, CVS, like there's everything here walking distance like that's crazy um so yeah now i have to just walk which i don't mind because it's literally like a two minute walk <laughs> Hey guys, so I am back home. It is pouring rain outside, okay? Like it is so cloudy, it's not even funny. Um, but let me show you guys my nails. I did try to change the, um, like the little white part that was on my wig. I used my contour to kind of like contour it so that it was my shade. So I don't know, let me know like, does it look better? And I definitely did, you know, do a little, because I like it a little bit, like, you know, fuller. And I don't know, I just think this is kind of cute. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna style it, <laughs> but I like like the little, you know, height to it here. Um, it just adds a little bit more volume. But let me show you guys my nails. 
these are the nails i went with this like really light pink um i usually do french you guys know that but i decided to just do like one color and then i just did like these um diamonds on my ring fingers but i thought they were super cute it's a very natural uh you know and like cute classy doesn't do too much um but yeah so it is now 317 i need to go and honestly clean that bathroom I don't feel like doing that but i need to do it um and then i need to start getting ready because i'm going out to dinner but it's raining like crazy outside and my face hurts because of my freaking pimples like ah, uh, i hate hate hormonal pimples like hate it okay Ugh, like they drive me insane and they're painful like uh just give me a pimple i can pop like i'll take that over these freaking hormonal pimples that are like inside of your skin like i'm not gonna turn to the right okay because it looks insane and now at this point i just feel like every time i do go and get like a chemical peel from these people my face doesn't peel and then i just get pimples i'm gonna say i have the pimples because of my period like i said i literally got my period yesterday but um i don't know so we'll see uh, i don't think i'm gonna go back to them again i'm gonna try a different place they definitely did well with my little botox i got i told you guys that on my live on instagram that i went and got some botox on my forehead um but I don't think I'm gonna go back there for a chemical field because I, I just, I'm not peeling. I'm not, it's not doing what I need it to do. And then I'm breaking out after. It's like, mm, I don't know. If you're in Boston and you've gotten a chemical peel and it actually works, like you actually peeled, leave the person that you went to down in the description. And please give me a real spot. I'm gonna give me, someone who you know is doing it from the inside of the house like i give me like an actual spa okay thank you <laughs> i am going to go clean that bathroom so that i can you know leave the house clean before i um go to dinner because i hate coming back home after i've had like you know a night out and then waking up in the morning and the house is junky and just nasty um it's not bad it's not terrible <gasps> but definitely need to like oh actually the tub is not even that bad either <laughs> i thought i did like a whole hot mess situation in here but it's actually really not bad at all <gasps> it's not bad at all Ugh. I'm so happy the hair came out nice because yeah. I'm thinking like should I really put some curls? I think I am gonna put some curls in my hair. Um yeah, just to give it like a little bit more, you know, lux. Cause right now, like it looks good in its natural state. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn this light off. It looks good in its natural state, right? But I think curls would be better. I just suck at doing curls. And then my thing is like, I try to use a uh, straightener to curl my hair <laughs> instead of using you know like an actual curling iron but whatever these lashes did not last but that's just because I suck <laughs> I suck when it comes to 
you know, like, I think the lady was like, oh, just don't like wash your face under like when you're in the shower and get like pressure like i'm doing that okay i'm rubbing my eye if my eye is itchy <laughs> like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be like a lash girl like every day type of thing maybe i only do it on like special occasions i don't know all right you guys so i am done curling the hair it actually looked better once I was done and then I put it in a bonnet because I had to like freshen up, take a shower again. Um, because like I told you guys, I am headed out to dinner today. And so I wanted to do like a quick get ready with me. Um, I'm going to fast forward the makeup. Um, but you guys can see that because I don't, you know, do that often on camera so i wanted to do that for you guys and also because i wanted to show you guys the foundation that i use because you guys have been asking and i've been using this elaine comb foundation uh it is in the shade 535 i got it from sephora this is the uh foundation that I've been using that has been giving me that flawless perfect match um on my face we all know that I had struggled for a while um to find the perfect shade and honestly this is it okay this is the one and I think this is their darkest shade if I am correct um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and do my makeup and I think I want to start doing like get ready's with me on TikTok as well because I don't do those and I just do like the You know spend the day with me type, type of thing I think I want to get into like, you know, get ready's with me and stuff Especially seeing that like, you know, I have my little nice closet here That I can film in so yeah Get ready to go to dinner with me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm doing my first get ready with me. I am terrified. Um, yeah, so bear with me. So I'm obviously gonna start with my, I already did a primer. I believe that all of your dreams are directions You took my heart out of my kids and my patients You took my heart out of my sleep with decorations You were sick of my love, I brought for you my foundation All that I want and from you are to give me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been mm -hmm. But I wake up and nothing nothing's wrong Just get ready for work, 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 work to me you see me do me that, 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 I just hope that it gets to you I hope that you see this through I hope that you see this through What can I say? This is 
the makeup. I try to film a get ready with me on TikTok. That's why you guys saw me like talking while I was, you know, doing the makeup. So go check that video out. Hopefully I post it. <laughs> Cause I am queen of recording stuff for TikTok and then not editing it and then not posting it. So hopefully I go through it and I like it and I post it. If not, wait for a different video. I'm gonna try again if this one doesn't work, but the makeup came out nice. I'm telling you guys, it's that foundation, like, amazing, amazing. Go get it, run to the store right now and get it. If you are my shade, run to the store and get it. It is just flawless. And like, I'm not a makeup girly like that. Like by makeup girly, I don't mean like, I don't wear makeup all the time. I mean more like, I don't um, really know how to do makeup like that. But with this foundation, it's like, I don't need to be a professional makeup artist. I don't have to do like too much blending. It's just, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say hi, Chanel. Look at what her thingy says. It says, cuter than you. Because she is. Because she is. Because you are. Right, Chanel? She's cuter than me. You so cute. You so cute. You so cute. She's like, ah, take me out. Take me out. I want to go out. I want to go out. Right? Okay. Let mama get dressed. And then she's going to take you out. You know something? I have this jacket I got from Zara like probably last year and I have yet to wear it, but it's so cute. And I feel like it definitely can be like, okay, it could be it for tonight. It's kind of cute. What do you guys think? It's cute. I feel like I could definitely wear this dress that I wore in Paris. And since it's raining outside, use this as a jacket. What do you guys think? <laughs> that is an option. Okay, because I want to be cute, but I also want to make it make sense because it's raining outside. So yeah. Thing we finna do is get our content. Let me fix this. Let me. Get ready with me to go to dinner tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but help me. Yeah, I'm funny. <sighs> here I am trying to be, here I am trying to be a TikTok creator. Ah, this is scary. Okay. Oh, am I already filming? Okay. Get ready with me to go out to dinner tonight. I'm going to one of my favorite sushi places here in Boston. It's called Zuma. They have one in New York and a couple of other places. So let's get dressed. Guess oh, to do it again.
Get ready with me to go out to dinner tonight. I'm going to one of my favorite sushi places here in Boston. It's Zuma. Uh, I think they have a couple in New York and uh, probably California and other parts of the world, but I really love the sushi there and the ambiance is just amazing. So let's get dressed. So I was thinking, I've had this a blazer for probably about a year now and I have not worn it yet. I got it from Zara and it is so cute and I would really like to style it tonight also because it's raining out. So I think this would be like a good, you know, classy cover. Uh, and it's also gonna keep me warm. So that's one. I was thinking of pairing it with this Veronica beard dress that I got for my trip to Paris. And I don't know, it's the strapless dress. It fits like a glove and it is just really cute. So I think this with that over would be just amazing. So let's get dressed. Let's put her on. <laughs> ah. So I was thinking what I would do with the jacket is something like this. What do you guys think? My black classic Chanel, I think, is it's nice. This is this is a look. I'm headed to dinner at the uh four seasons the zuma the same place i went last time and i got sushi and stuff like that so yeah that's where we're going guys so it is the next morning Today is Tuesday, the 6th of June, and I am about to go do a little bit of shopping, maybe get some lunch. It is 2 o'clock. Well, actually, it's 1.50, so yeah, it's almost 2 o'clock. Bay isn't out of work yet. He is supposed to be going shopping with me, uh, but he's going to come after work and join me. Probably just going to linger around and um grab some lunch and just kind of relax and wait for him uh ugh. dinner last night was so good you guys know i told you i went to one of my favorite sushi places um and i got the same sushi i get every time and because i did my nails pink i decided to rock a little bit of pink i'm wearing this pink polo stripe uh, top that I got from Ralph Lauren I need to like button it because my titties is out but your girl's titties is big um, but what can I do and I wore it with this like faux leather skirt and it's a super cute um, yeah so that is just what the plan is today I literally haven't been doing anything all morning i did post my get ready with me TikTok. it came out good i liked it so i posted it of course there was this one comment like okay i'm not gonna explain this foundation thing to you bitches again all right the reason why your foundation isn't going to match your neck when you're doing a get ready with me because 90 percent of the time i have a ring light the ring light makes my face brighter than my body because it is focused on my face like i don't understand why y'all don't freaking get it but i'm so sick and tired of people because now the girl is like oh you should get a less orange tone foundation when i was doing the yellow tone it was it wasn't yellow now it's not orange bitch what the fuck is it black like <laughs> what do you guys want from me um anyways i just thought that was funny 
because she was like, yeah, you should probably look into getting a less orange tone foundation. So I don't know. I'm not a makeup guru because maybe y'all could tell me, but like, how many undertones are there? <laughs> because at this point, I'm running out of options. Anyways, um... Yeah, why am I just sitting here? There's literally no light. It's a stop sign. See, this is what happens when I have to, like, talk. Recording for my YouTube. So, I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got from Hermes yesterday. So, here we are. I got these sandals with a mini heel. You guys know I already have the brown Oran sandals, but I wanted these because I think these are so cute if you're wearing like a dress and jeans, like when you're doing like a casual look and you don't want to wear, you know, flat, you still want to look dressed up and, you know, put together. I felt like this would be such a cute item to have in my closet just for, you know, the summer um, so I can, you know, look dressed up even when I want to still look relaxed you know running errands everything I just thought this was so cute I probably will wear these today I got this perfume it smells so good I unboxed these stuff on a uh, TikTok so make sure you're following me on TikTok and then I got this silk dress Super cute. Meeting some of Bay's sisters on Sunday. So I am wearing this dress. He picked it out himself. He actually picked it out in black, but I picked it out in this stunning color. I mean, are we kidding? And if you see the dress on, you're gonna be like, yeah, right decision. It's such a stunning dress. Uh, I'm excited to add this into my collection of clothes um and i forgot to unbox this on tiktok but it was just this lipstick that i got um because it is like a nice nude for my skin i don't really wear like lipstick so if i do it is going to be like in a very nude like natural color i don't do like the reds and stuff like that Ooh, it's hard to get out of this thing um but this is what i got this is the color and i just thought this was so pretty on me super happy with every item i can't wait to wear that dress on sunday you guys will see it in the next vlog because i am going to end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it wasn't too hectic for some reason i feel like my life is hectic and i feel like you can see that <laughs> even though my life is not hectic i just kind of like pick up the camera like very randomly um so yeah i hope it wasn't too bad um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms instagram tiktok and my website is in the process of being built so hopefully i will have that up for you guys in probably like two weeks and you guys can you know subscribe and you know find out some more information that got deleted off my patreon love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video bye these men they come around and I run It's for Eric and love when I share it Let's talk about Frankie, I love when he's banging You know what I'm on It's for Gerald, I'm at